Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. I was just doing some um, grocery shopping here for my family and I'm just walking back and girl, I have to tell you, the experiences that you have in some countries are insane. So look, there are countries like France and Germany that they are known for being very jealous of their language, you know? Not, not jealous, but very protective, you know, of their language. So they kind of like expect everyone to speak the language, you know? And I'm thinking like, girl, it's 2023. There is something called tourist, you know? And there, not everyone is gonna talk your uh, a very complicated language, you know? So, like, you just have to accept it. You just have to work with it. It's not like I'm saying, like, oh, if you don't speak English, you are horrible. No. So, I went I went to, like, this place to buy um, a chicken, not chicken, a uh, fish sandwich. And the lady, super nice, super nice, welcoming lady. She, she didn't speak too much English, just a little bit. And I didn't speak too much German, just a little bit. But we work with each other, you know? And she explained me some things and I get it and I said it, you know? And we were having fun, we were laughing, you know? And it was like, you know, there are nice people in this world, right? Not all Germans are the same. But I could feel the people around me, especially the old people, the faces, the, uh, uh, the noises, and I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, are you having a stroke right now? You know, I'm like, bitch, yes, there are tourists. Not everyone speaks your language. And I'm so sorry that English is the universal language, you know? So <laughs> it is what it is, right? But it was like so weird. And like, I could feel like the judgment. Like you're in Germany, talk German. Um, What about you shut the fuck up, Karen? Anyways, that was, that happened, you know? And I mean, I didn't do anything. I was just like doing my thing. I bought my sandwich. The lady was like super nice to me. So like a great sandwich, you know, it was good. So I'm just leaving and yeah, just wanted to, you know, put that out there that Karens are not only Americans. Karens come in any shape of color or color or, you know, nationality. So anyways, guys, uh, let's talk a little bit about Vanderpump Rules, Scandal, and everything in between. Because, um, girl, there is this... Okay, it's not the first time that I'm hearing this. Let's put it this way. Let, let me change my hand because this is very heavy. Uh, um, some people are not very... Um, convinced that the scene between Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox on the season finale was 100% authentic. Okay? And I have to tell you guys I might have some feelings around that as well. But before I give you my thoughts um, Stasi Schroeder, you know, she is doing like a, a, a little tour thing, a mini tour thing, not a little, but a mini tour thing, you know, and, you know, on, on, on her latest, you know, um, event, Bo came forward and they talk about Scandal and they talk about the season finale and he said the same thing that people are saying that it felt rehearsed, that it felt not authentic, that it felt like they were reading, you know? Or, I mean, I don't I don't wanna say a script, but like prepare, you know? And it was very much like, you are gonna say this, and then he is gonna say this, you know? And kind of like, it didn't felt like really connecting, okay? If you watch my recap on the season finale, I said something similar, but I kind of like, um, I said that I kind of like understood 
where Ariana was coming from because uh, I went to something similar and on the sense of like breaking up with someone that you like really thought it was going to be you know the rest of your life and you li literally shape your life around that person so when you go through a breakup like that there is something inside your brain like a like a like a chip you know that just it just click you know and you can go two ways either you go very depressed to a dark side or literally kind of like to protect yourself you just don't give a fuck anymore and it could be literally from one day to another from one moment to another i still remember mine and it was so weird how i was like you know what i don't give a shit anymore i was with this person for four years and I just didn't give a shit anymore, right? So I was like, I feel maybe Ariana was coming from that place and that's why she was just like pouring her heart, but like in a very non-emotional way. But then the way that Sandoval was talking was also so robotic and so like bad act that I was like, I don't know. If you compare that to Sheena Shea and Tom Sandoval conversation, it was completely different. With Sheena, I felt the pain. I literally cried because I could feel how Sheena was so upset of losing one of her best friends of over 14 years, you know? And I felt the cry and I feel the anger, you know? And I feel everything. But with Ariana, it didn't feel like that, like that you know? And now we have Stasi and Bo saying it out there you know and now we say it you know and i went through social media and a lot of people were having the same feeling now i don't i'm not saying that this is fake but i don't know if this was rehearsed i don't know if this was kind of like okay guys so we're gonna have a scene with the two of you talking about this so think about what you want to get out there and it, that kind of preparedness kill kills the mood you know kills that spontaneity of like screaming at the other person and saying fuck you you know and like like uh, i hate you and and hitting you you know and then all of that shit you know so maybe it's that yes ariana did lose her shit for a quick second and maybe that was the part of like she really wanted to put it out there her real feelings but then it kind of like came back very collected very fast so i don't know i don't know i mean i, w I thought that i was alone on this and I, I i said it on my i said a little bit on my on my review you know but now hearing Bo and Stasi talking about it and saying exactly what I was thinking and then going to social media and people being like, this doesn't feel authentic, like what is going on here? Kind of like makes you wonder, you know, especially with all the conspiracies going around that maybe they in fact haven't been together in a long time that uh, or they were just together because of the brand or I don't know, you know? So it really makes me wonder, and I, and, I, and I wanted to know what you guys think about that, how you feel about that. Uh, and, you know, having another Bravo Leverity thinking the same way kind of like makes me feel validated. I feel seen. So do you feel seen? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Vanderpump Rules or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.